All right, welcome back. Today we are talking about a special weekend that's coming up. It's called Heritage Weekend, and it's all about celebrating history in our community. I have some special guests in the studio now to talk more about that. Carlos and Kelly Fenley from the Dora Franklin Fenley African American Heritage Trail. So. This is going to be a fantastic three days of celebration, and it all starts with an excuse to get all fancy and dressy. That part right there. Exactly. <laughs> yes. We are on, the we're camp. honoring the Excelsior Band, so mm -hmm. they've been, you know, wowing crowds for 140 years, yeah. and so they're our Grio Award recipient. Mm -hmm. So each year we award someone who is really just kind of like the town crier. Mm -hmm. They are alerting the the community as to what's going on, and so you know you can speak a love language through music, and so that's Friday night, six to nine at Government Plaza in the atrium. Everyone's invited. We have information on our website. There you go. Everyone is invited. Invited, and that is just kicking it off. Next, you'll have a preview of the historic Franklin House Gallery, and that underwent some renovations. It did, some major in renovations. Mm -hmm. It took over a year to get it to the shape that it's in now, and it's beautiful, and it's amazing, and we can't wait to share it with the community in the historic campground district. And I know you want people to come out, so don't say everything that you did, but a little tease. <laughs> what's, what's the most uh, improvement that you're proud of? The improvement that I'm probably most proud of mm -hmm. is the way that they opened the house up ah. because it's a home that was renovated in 1950 mm -hmm. and so things were done a little differently yes. back in those days but they've opened it up it's very very hospitable and welcoming and it always was because this is a house that many have stayed mm -hmm. and many have visited over the years. Mm -hmm. And then, as I was telling you earlier, Kelly, <laughs> my, my favorite part of all of this would be that bike tour. And this is really just to highlight the significance of the history that we have. That's right. And I'm going to tag team this with my husband because what's really cool is that we're renting out bikes. Yeah. So we've teamed up with Adventure Earth. Everybody loves Clint. We know him well. And, and this is a journey. My husband's actually riding the, the ride. Go. I, I'm going to be rooting everyone on because yeah. you got to know your strength and know your weakness. <laughs> <laughs> well, a historic portion of the bike tour is that we are going to have the first and only African-American president of the Mobile Bar Association mm -hmm. leading the ride, and that's yeah. Mr. Carlos Williams. Mm -hmm. He's a federal defender, and we're going to start at historic Heart of Mary School, and we're going to ride up to Africatown, and then come back into the city and start at John Raglan's slave market to the Creole right. fireplace, which is where the Excelsior Band was formed, mm -hmm. and then we'll bring it back to Stone Street Baptist, which is the oldest Baptist church in the state, mm -hmm. and we'll end at Heart of Mary and have a great celebration with Peaky Head Militia and there'll be <laughs> celebrations and there'll be libations and hamburgers, hot dogs, bananas and oranges for all those cyclists <laughs> that they <laughs> love. <laughs> Listen, those oranges are going to be scarfing your right? ass. I love how it is all connected. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's purposeful. Yes. It's very intentional and, and some of the cyclists will continue on across the nation into mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. So this is just the beginning and we're hoping to keep the conversation going and that's the importance of our social media presence that we have as director of communications and PR you know it's my honor to really um, highlight everything on Facebook on Instagram on Twitter because we know that that's the way our young people are talking yes, and, and they've and got to get out there too absolutely so it's gonna be a great weekend that's the key to what we do is we inform our youth of the greatness that has come before them mm -hmm. so that they then understand that they're capable as well mm -hmm. because those that have created this greatness have far less resources right. than our children have today mm -hmm. so we're super super excited about it and of course the Excelsior Band has been carrying on the Griot work mm -hmm. um, for many many years 140 since 1883 there are states that are not that old. No, gosh, we appreciate everything that you guys are doing and will continue to do in the community. Thank you. Uh, listen, mark your calendar. Yes. You have the dates. <laughs> uh, it is going to start Friday, May 19th, mm -hmm. and you need to be there. 